peace and blessings. It's your girl Elisha, but um, all I can do at this point is just shake my head because I've been um, reading a couple of things and talking to a couple of people um, over the past probably week, and I'm just shocked. And, and the more I talk to people and the more I um, actually get to know them and in and, and truth really the only way you can truly know someone is to listen to what comes out of their mouth you can always catch a vibe from people you know I can only do it in person I can't really do it over the computer or over the phone you have to kind of talk to me and the more you talk the more you give yourself away and just like the book says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So people are telling themselves every time. They'll show you who they truly are. So like, what am I getting at? I'm getting at the fact that we're not as a, as a people, as a species, as a race, whatever you want to call it, a nationality, as human beings walking this planet, we're not getting the origins of us. And where we came from and what we're supposed to be doing and all I'm doing is speaking from heart if you don't know I do not see the book the Bible there's something special about the Bible and let me tell you why I say that because it is the most either you love it in ignorance and when I say ignorance you read it and you miss the deeper message or you absolutely hate it because again you have missed the deeper message and it's funny how that works you can do both you can actually read it and totally over your head you didn't catch it I have since childhood that message has gone right in here and it's stuck here now when I point here this is just an illustration it's not literally your heart because your heart is somewhere out here in case you didn't know that I think everybody knows that, but you're not really conceptualizing it. You're not you're not putting that together. Your heart is something bigger than this physical body. So if I read the other scriptures, the Vedic scriptures, and the, the reason why I'm so vague when I talk about certain books is because I feel that is where everything should root itself in vibration which is feeling when you feel something it's a vibration when you tap your arm that's a vibration you're feeling it okay and when you have telepathy or something that kind of phenomenon or whatever there's a vibration or a frequency frequency is a vibration if you didn't know okay i know you know this it's just let's put it all out there so these are frequencies, okay? You're picking up something. And the original languages, people are so stuck on. Ooh, let's figure out what the original language was for the Bible. And let's figure out what the original language is for this, that, and other thing. And let's figure out the original name of God and blah, 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 blah. Five years ago. No, not five years ago. Point three. I got real frustrated with all this information. I'm sitting here reading, 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 reading. I'm like, okay, what's the original name of God? I come up with Iahue. I come up with Yahuwah. Yahweh. What's that one they had? Yahweh Hashi sounds Japanese. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know what what that word is they come up with. <clears throat> but my thing, is, my point is, you have so many different. vocalizations of the name and nobody agrees so I'm like you know what when you get in in this chaos state and you're like looking at all these people fighting amongst your, amongst themselves you're kind of like you know what or me I don't know about you but me I'm like no nah. let me back up step out of here and go figure this out on my own because this is not working for me <clears throat> anytime you're in chaos you're not going to find any answers things are created in chaos but 
you're not going to find get any clarity you have to step out of that so if you have any inclination to and you can hear what i'm saying at all and i'm talking about not you're not lit listening like you're hearing the words and the vote and the vibrations that are coming out and it's hitting your eardrums no i'm talking about you hear me like somewhere within okay then i'm advising you step out of the chaos go go to the mountain let, let's do some symbolic imagery and stuff go to the mountain and just listen or the other symbolic in, imagery is to sit at the feet remember when what was the name mary the other girl was walking around doing all her little work in the book in the bible and the other woman was sitting at his feet just listening said she had chosen the better part said the what was the name martha you worried about all this other stuff you fret and worry about so much but yet this one right here then chose the better part do that sit down somewhere and, and just listen okay you're going to have to start with feeling i've come across a lot of logical people a lot of masculine left brain people and it's a trip because they always want all this um they want books they want science they want um literacy literacy you know what i'm saying <laughs> they want tangible what i'm here to tell you is you will never get it the tangible and the intangible or the seen and the unseen need to marry one another so for all you that are searching and seeking because i know everybody there's not a person on this planet who's not searching and seeking some people don't know what they're searching and seeking for some people think they have found what they what they're searching for and you haven't it's a fact you just haven't but you'll get there this i know what i'm telling you all my left brain give me the facts take me back to history blah 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 people i'm telling you you're going to have to marry something that you don't see with what you do see you're gonna to have to step out of that comfort zone of oh i can see this no oh, i can read it and if you can't do that you will not get what you want you will not find what you seek you have to marry the masculine and the feminine and you know this how do i know you know this because you know the science so now you have to marry that science with spirit, something you can't see, you can only feel. And if you are very left-brained, very very much inclined to that, that end of the spectrum, you're going to have to bring it to the middle. And when I say bring it to the middle, you're going to have to pull from the right and the left and come to the middle so you can get it. As long as you only go by what your eyes see, physically out here you will never get what you want and i know what you want you want what they call salvation you want what they call evolution you want what they call eternal life and what i'm telling you is just advice you don't have to do any of this i'm just telling you what i know you're going to have to step out of the books step out of the literacy you have to step out of the scholarship you have to step out of only going by what you can see with your eyes and you have to start feeling something because the root of everything is is vibration the root of everything is sound okay so as you're searching for the name you gonna have to stop thinking that it's something you can say with this tongue or this mouth because it's not it's only something that can be felt within your heart i keep pointing at this but that's the symbol that's the imagery we use we say oh this is my heart but you all know it's not your heart. It's your physical heart. But it's not your heart. Okay. If you want so badly what you say it is that you want. You really truly want to get it now. In this lifetime. This incarnation. You're going to have to come out of that. But like I said. It's only if you can hear me. If you can't hear me. Then hey. I'm not talking about listening. I'm talking about hearing. The 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 undertone. The, the esoteric occult message that I'm speaking to you that's what you're going to have to hear so um, that's to all my people that are seeking enlightenment and I'm talking about uh, eternal life immortality that's all the same thing that's what people got twisted that book it tells you exactly what to do and I had that feeling 
that inclination. And I'm going to tell you right now, I rejected the book for a while. I said, you know what, no, nah, this book ain't right. And I'm not, when I say I'm accepting the book now, I'm not saying I'm accepting the book in the manner that it was given to us and we were programmed to see it. If you will turn off the tape, like I said in my other video, turn off the tape. The slave master mentality or the oppressor's mentality. And let me tell you who the oppressor is. The oppressor is you. Everybody tries to externalize the oppressor. Yes, the oppressor's outside. But what am I saying? You have to internalize the oppressor. See the oppressors in you. You were blinded. Okay? Your blinders were put on within you. I don't care what someone says to you. You have to be able to process it correctly. So I've never processed it incorrectly. I've doubted myself. And I've gone and I've listened to the lies. But I've never been blind. Because when I read what was actually written in that book. For myself, it didn't match what it was being said to me from the outside. That's why I rejected it. And if you continue to accept and internalize and believe what has been told to you by any outside source, then you will keep being led astray. You will keep continuing being in the dark. That book has the damn answer. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the other scriptures have, but this is the thing. What I've noticed with even all these other religions, people don't even follow that, those books. I can't say that with 100% physical certainty, but my spirit lets me know that they're not even following it to the T. If you want proof, I'd have to sit down and read it for myself and be like, hey, look at this, look at this. And then I'd have to go to every person. You know, in, every individual person is so different. Some people see more than others. Some people are not as bad as others. There's some people that are way, when I say bad, I'm talking about way far gone. They are so imbalanced. That they ain't even remotely doing what their own holy book said. And I'm telling you, all the holy books say the exact same thing. People who come at me and say, oh, you're parroting something and you're regurgitating something and you're just saying what somebody told No, that's not true. That's not true at all. I'm saying what I have told me. And when I say I have told me, what you don't understand is that you are everything and that you have a spirit that is connected to the spirit and all these spirits are connected to one. So when you listen to yourself, you are lining yourself up with that spirit. And that is the truth. Now, if you yourself are imbalanced, then you're going to receive faulty messages. So what has to happen? Your heart has to be made pure. Meaning your heart has to be in a place where it's receptive to balanced thoughts. You within have to be balanced. I'm just telling you. So everybody keeps telling me, oh, when they went to the, the spirit realm and they were astro projecting or traveling or whatever you're doing, oh, I came into contact with these negative entities and demonic beings. Well, that's because that's what you're attracting. Birds of a feather flock together. I've said this like a million times and I don't think people are getting it. You only attract what you are. That's science. If you want if you want to go buy the books, then go get the science book and read it. It tells you. Like, and all the Proverbs tell you. That these little sayings aren't circulating in the air for no good reason. They're here to try to guide you and show you some stuff. But you've missed it because now you're telling yourself, Oh, I'm an adult. So you know all them little, little sayings they said that's not relevant. Yes, it is. Very relevant. You can't enter the kingdom unless you're in as a little child, right? You've got to stop thinking. you got to stop trying to do the higher math and the higher knowledge. You need to do simple stuff. Simple stuff right now. You cannot do higher things until you get simple things. You need, people think that they've grown up because their body has grown up and now they're 50 years old or 40 years old, whatever. And all of a sudden you've grown. No. Soul age. You are an eternal soul. You don't die. You change from, from uh, vessel to vessel. That's it. Where that vessel ends up or where it goes, you know, that, that's for you to figure out. But there's no such thing as death the way we've been taught. Matt, energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just changed from form to form, right? Is that not science? So who's dying? It's just a vessel. You're just in a vessel. I, I'm, I, just, I don't understand how where people get these concepts from. Because you cannot go around trying to... Into, 
try to make everything only physical. I'm not telling you to make it all spiritual because that's imbalance. For you to be all spiritual is imbalance. For you to be all physical, physically inclined is imbalance. The key to life is balance. Masculine, feminine, positive, negative, in balance. Okay. If you want all the stuff to cease, you go neutral. You have totally equal amounts on both sides. People just not getting it. They're not understanding it's going over their head. And, and that's why we continue to fight and we continue to have these wars. And we have no love. And we do not understand. And we're missing the point. And then we got every time somebody comes up with something that you haven't heard, you want to start arguing with them and fighting. For what? Everybody has a piece of the puzzle. We all sit down and talk to one another. We figure that out. But like I said, the programming keeps playing. The tape keeps coming up. Every time somebody says, and you're you repeating what somebody said, that's what you don't get about me specific, particularly. I don't read that much. I stopped reading. The only thing I used to read all the time was the Bible because I grew up in a Christian household. I grew up in the church. So yes, I read the Bible. That's when I incarnated. That's what I chose to do. I chose to do that. What you don't realize is you make choices. Before you come here, you choose what you're going to do, who your parents are going to be, your sister, your brother, your family, even though they're all your sister, brother, and family. But we're talking about specific stages and specific experiences to have. That's what you did. You chose this, okay? So you chose this because it's what your soul needs. This is what your soul needs to learn what it needs to learn. So that's why you came in at, this, at that particular time you were born. At that particular, um, in that particular month, that particular hour, that particular minute. That's why that happened. Because you needed to learn something. Okay. So, I haven't read. I, and I have gone into other books. But honestly, I haven't read that much. And the little things that I did read back five years. It's only like five years. Okay. The little things I did read, I didn't even get it first. The understanding didn't come until I went to the spirit side and I started pulling from that and I rooted myself in the spirit because that's where everything emanates from, everything flows from. Your thoughts do not emanate from this brain, this, this, this mass up in here in the side of the skull, it doesn't start there, it starts somewhere else. So you have to start with the primary. You've heard of primary colors? That's what all the colors are based off of, you mix them up, make other colors and all that other stuff. Learn some, learn some science. Learn some stuff like that. See, if you really want to learn some, learn some simple things. People want to learn deep stuff, and have not mastered simple things. I, that kills me. That just, you know, I, I've been guilty. I try to get all my little science on. Try to learn all my little black holes and, ooh, and all this little deep stuff. And that, that, I get it. But until I learn the, the, the simple things, all that stuff don't mean nothing. You have to take, even her prerequisites in school, y'all went to school, right? Prerequisites, you have to take certain courses before you take another course. The school of life works the same way. You got to learn the simple things. Then you go on to the higher things. I do not understand why you think that life and spiritual life are any different. As above, so below. They mimic one another, correct? Y'all keep spouting that out here and say, oh, yes, I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand because you keep doing the opposite of what you say you understand. A person that understands will apply and will get results, correct? Everybody wants to perform miracles and wants to do all this higher magic and blah, blah, blah. And you haven't even got simple stuff. Learn some simple magic. Learn some simple things that will lead you into immortality and lead you into eternal life. Then we can talk about this deep stuff. All the deep stuff is not going to happen until you master the small things. Where's your foundation? So people ask me silly stuff like, well, where's your miracles? Honey, that's, first of all, I have plenty of miracles. Me speaking to you right now and saying what I'm saying is one of the miracles. Because this is the foundation. You cannot, Tower of Babel, y'all did not catch that story. Y'all don't get it. What was the story about? It was about not trying to ascend before you have been a human. Being a human is a part of being God. You all don't understand the definition of God. You're trying to escape something and you have, and, and it's not needed to be escaped. This experience needs to be fully and thoroughly 
and totally embraced and mastered before you can go somewhere else. Y'all, y'all missed the symbolism. Here, here's your head symbol over the head. That's where it went over. You didn't get it. You didn't catch the ball came flat. You didn't catch it. You, it hit the ground. You dropped it. You, sh you took a shot, brick. It didn't happen. You're missing it. Everybody is scrambling. Oh my gosh, we got to figure out how to get some monotonic gold and enlighten ourselves. And oh, we got to get some some eat some living food so we can be enlightened and we can ascend. You ain't going nowhere. You gonna come right back until you get it. I'm just telling you what what I know. I see. I only use the word believe. I don't tell you what I believe. I tell you what I know. And the thing is, I'm just asking you, since you want to ask me where's my stuff, well, where's yours? Yes, the laws work for everyone, whether you're good or evil. And when I say good or evil, whether you're balanced or imbalanced, they're going to work for you. So you might have been able to pull off a couple of things. You might have did some levitation or whatever. I understand that. Might have made a few clouds move. That's fine. But you're still here. And then you know this story somebody just told me now they're saying that the aliens are coming and and the sun is gonna burn up the people who are not don't have enough melanin or something like that oh well, i guess i'm in trouble because i don't know how much melanin i need because i'm not that dark but i damn sure know i'm spiritual and the damn sure no, ain't no aliens coming to destroy it. You know, that's funny. It keeps switching this story. It's always some outside of them coming to destroy them. It's always some outside of them that they need to fight. And they ain't even fought. And I'm not saying that some of this stuff doesn't have relevance. I'm not saying that at all. That's what y'all don't get about me. I do believe there's a lot of things outside of us. But what I don't agree with is how you combat them or fight them or deal with them okay that's what i don't believe because it doesn't make it it doesn't hold water at the end of the day because what i see is all these people sitting around here plotting and planning to escape and they're not trying to help anybody else because what are the aliens i'm an alien i'm not from here and if you sit up here saying that um you believe the Bible, which I'm not saying everybody does. The book itself says you're an alien and you're sojourning, you're passing through. So I'm just saying. I don't I don't know. That's just, just my take on it. I don't understand. I can say a lot of stuff about myself. I would say I'm a reptilian, I would say I'm a beast, I would say I'm a god, I would say I'm a human, I would say I am an alien, I would say I'm a gray. Got gray matter in your brain. Did I ever think about that? We already talked about the reptilian part of your brain and who you are. We already talked about. I like the word my brother posted up the other day. Like I said, we're like recognizes like. So that's definitely my brother. All people are my brothers, but just not might not all be on the same frequency, the same wavelength. But we're all kin folk. Okay. So that uses word emanation, and that took me back to when I was. Um, trying to read um the gnostic gospels and it was talking about the i think the words plumeria and then how things were born of it and all that so emanation look that word up what everything comes from which is what i've been saying been speaking anyway everything had to come from one source i don't understand where these people getting this stuff from they sit around acting like talking about my own people i i I thought I was being picky for a while. I, I would never be with a person. I'm talking about like a relationship or I could be cool with you. We can talk, but mm, not like that. Um, people who say I'm trying to elevate my people. My first question is who are your people? All people are my people. Purple people. Green people, yellow people, orange people, brown people, all shades of brown, 
I'll be looking at people, I see some red tinged people, that means it's red tinged melanin, yellow tinged people, green tinged people that come olive skin. Do you all people not see that every color of the damn rainbow is out here? And if you say all colors came from black, then that means you're looking at the slow down manifestations of the source, right? So why do you keep saying that these people are not your people? I, I can't deal with people on that level who don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what are you talking about? We're all our people. I'm looking for the elevation and the salvation and the redemption and the evolution of all. The human race. Hughes. Let that marinate. Hughes. The human race, okay? Which is a part of God, which is a part of the beast. So all my people are the rocks and trees and animals, all my people. And I post on my face Facebook, you know, stuff that's, you know, been on my heart. Like um, when the book says or the Holy Bible says that when you do so, do so unto the least of these, you do so unto me. Well, we've been told that Christ, Jesus Christ or whatever, is something outside of us. And it is. Because it's many Christ. What does the word Christ mean? Go look it up. The anointing one. It also tells you lots of people will be called the sons of God. But then people don't look at the prerequisites of how you get to that point. People don't, they're not reading. And, and if they're reading, they're not hearing. Or not seeing. Um... I just, I'm just shaking my head. You know, I'll be sitting here reading, and the whole time my neck just got a crick in. I'm like, what in the world is going on? People are missing it. They're just not understanding. It's going right over their head, not understanding it at all. So, one of the least of these, one of the books that they took out, our wonderful friends of the Catholic Church, and the people who made the canon, which are, they do what they do for a purpose, okay? You know what the purpose, let me tell you what the purpose is. I'm just going to tell you what the purpose is in case you're confused. It's to keep you humble. Being God is a big deal. And when I say being God, being as a God or being the God or being the one, that's a, that's a huge amount of power, okay? To keep things in balance and in check, we have things that oppose. You cannot live out of your lower nature, which is a part of all of us and it will never be destroyed. I've been there. I've done that. I've said, well, damn, are we supposed to get rid of, are we supposed to kill our ego? And I read that scripture, I think it's in Genesis, it said that sin is crashing at the door, but you must rule over it. And when I read that, it kind of triggered some other things. I kind of started saying, that's the same thing about killing them. You know, you've been taught through religion that you're supposed to kill the de The devil's going to hell and it's going to burn. Do a little research, a little reading. You'll see that's not exactly what it's saying. And burning is not what you think it is. The fire, the hellfire, and all that's not what you think it is. So, nature has a check and balance system that is naturally, inherently, and beautifully set in place. So, to keep everybody humble and keep everybody on an even kilter, you have this opposition. So, the Catholic Church, I applaud you. Thank you for taking the books out of the canon. Why? So people can seek stuff. It says this in the book of Acts. All these things have happened. All these things have occurred. And people, empires have risen and fallen. And what's crazy is, I, was, I just read it night about the races. It's, it's, it's crazy. There's some stuff I've never seen anybody talk about. Y'all don't want to talk about this stuff. How the Egyptians actually had a system. Or they had some of the drawings. Everybody want to talk about the drawings that the Egyptians had. Okay, let's talk about these drawings. But how they had different colors. And I saw some white people what you call white people and some dark dark people and some brown skinned people and all kind of little shades and it was showing how these are different gateways and it's real funny how it was 12 of them hmm I've been saying these are gateways nobody wants to listen um so like I said this spirit came through the spirit then I saw it written out confirmation because let every matter be established out of what? The mouth of two or three witnesses. So it's all good to see it in nature. It's all good to see it in a book. But it must be rooted in the spirit. Everything must come from the center or from within. So anyway. 
So it's talking about these 12 gateways and I, if I got to, which I will, because I find it interesting. I love validation and confirmation. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to figure out how all the, because they took all the names out of the Bible. Yes, they did. And all we see is Lord. Well, the Lord, then you, you still operate now the slave mindset, the oppressor, okay, which is you primarily. Um, you're still operating out of that mindset, that program, and it says, well, okay, there's only one God. Now, there is only one God. But what does one mean? You have to, act, when it says renew your mind, that's what it's talking about. You have to erase all this crap, this this false, false stuff that's been told to you. You must release it, let it go, and operate out of the truth, okay? Yes, there's only one God, but this is the thing. What does one mean? One means unity. And we see the example in the book all the time about one body, many members. Why is it that I'm sitting here watching this movie epic with my daughter? And they said the same damn thing. Ask yourself that question. Hmm. Ask yourself that question. Think about that. If you haven't watched epic, go watch epic. Y'all think y'all too grown to watch some cartoons. You need to watch some damn cartoons. They've been telling kids the truth. For a long time and you over the head again in this year i thought you didn't take root we are so god is just like that one tree bunch of leaves so when we talk about the gods what are we talking about hell you're a god but what does god but then let's break it on down see everybody wants to say well, what's god what is, you hiding everybody and you did no you're human you're a beast you're a demon, you're a devil, you're all that, you're Satan, you're God. These are just up the bottom most and the uppermost of a spectrum. Or the leftmost or the rightmost of a spectrum. And in order for anything to work correctly, it must come from the center. That's what Christ, that's why Christ is such a misunderstood concept. And that's why Christ is like so either loved or hated and when i say love some people love them in ignorance they don't even know why they love them so much and all this stuff or they just hate them because they don't get it it's an either or with a lot of people when you can understand the the chakras in your body that's why i keep saying know yourself you can understand what green means with the frequency i think it's 528 hertz i think that's um the frequency of love or the vibration of love if you can understand I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong um, if you can understand the midpoint if you can understand coming from the center then you will understand what I'm saying think about it, you got seven chakras three above three below what does that represent what's in the middle I'm just looking at the chakras one day and I saw them. one two three one two three oh in the middle so that's what that's about Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is unity consciousness. And then you still aren't at the top yet. That's what people don't get. That's just a gateway to get in the get inside the city. Then you still got to get into the holy of holies. You still got some steps to climb. That's what people don't get. These are all gateways. These are all steps, degrees. You gotta learn. But you can't learn in righteousness and truth until you get there. So if you want God conscious, that's why he said no man comes to the Father but by me. You go through that consciousness. That's you talking to you. If you can understand it's you talking to you, then you'll understand when someone else comes to you talking this way. But until you understand yourself, you will never understand someone coming to you and saying something. You will never understand what yoking yourself to someone. I had someone say, oh, because you're still parenting. First of all, I ain't parenting nothing. I say everything that comes from within. That's the first thing you don't get about me, but anyway. Um, when you yoke yourself to someone, you are learning. That is submission. Submission is not a concept that was meant to be something that says that, oh, I'm, uh, I'm lording over you and you're going to do what I say. No, you willingly learn of someone else. You willingly climb to the heights where they are. That's why Jesus said that where I am, you may be also. He wasn't talking about going to heaven. Well, he actually was, but you don't understand what heaven is. Heaven has lots of levels. Heaven is the upper consciousness or the higher consciousnesses. 
consciousnesses the higher consciousness okay we've been told this stuff is so simplistic when it's not and then on the other hand we've made things hard that are very simple where he was the the height that he that he has reached and the level that he has gotten to that's what he was talking about he wanted you to be where he was okay to in in that place that consciousness okay that understanding that unity he sees things from another peak he's climbed the mountain and he said oh there's other stuff out here let's let's go here learn this it's a spiritual concept so submission y'all need to stop playing at the wife and tell my woman sit down and all this shit that is not what it's about because nobody would say that to someone they love nobody would put that head of the household and all those concepts the way they put them because in the reality the entire bible is not telling you to lord over anyone or to assert yourself in any role or do anything like that but hey you don't have to listen to me i'm just speaking to the people that are on my frequency that are on my level on my vibration and who can hear you cannot hear that's what hearing is hearing is what is hearing literally Certain sounds hit your eardrum and you're able to process them, correct? Why do they tell you that dogs can only dogs can hear the dog whistle? Because they are tuned into a different frequency. That's what Jesus meant when he said, or the Christ consciousness, or however you want to put it. I don't care how you want to put it. I don't, that's not the point to me. The point is that you understand the message that is spoken. I don't care if you see him outside of you, within you, whatever. I'm one with it. So I say it however you can receive it. He said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. He's not talking about, see, people get offended by the word sheep. Everybody's offended. Everybody walking around here offended all the time by everything. And you always let them miss because you have all these biases and suppositions and preconceived notions all in your body and in your being. And you can't understand the deeper message. He's not talking about he's going to rule over you. First of all, it's not someone outside of you. It's supposed to be something within, a process within, okay? When he's talking about being a sheep, he's talking about protection. He's guiding you somewhere where you can learn and grow. And that's why people are so arrogant. They think they don't need to learn anything. They don't think they don't need to grow. You think you've gotten this knowledge and, oh, I got this knowledge. I know a book to look in so I can read, 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 and it's going to give me eternal life. It says in the book, you keep reading these damn scriptures, but you don't realize. They point to me. When it says me, it's talking about your heart. That place within you that is unified, that is conscious of the unity between everything. Everything came from one. I don't see how you don't see that. I guess I do because you come from a dark place. I don't know. That's why he said you are from below and I am from above. If you're in the darkness, you can't see that. So I do see it, but it's, it's, it baffles me and it saddens me because it's crazy. You don't need to live like that. Sitting around pointing fingers at everybody and not understanding your unity. That place you need to go to is in your heart your heart okay gather that up pull that up use that that is the place where you need to draw all your understanding from a sheep is someone we're trying to get you to a place where you can learn what you need to learn and these lessons so that you can grow and expand into a righteous being you don't want to be a, an imbalanced God God is not imbalanced god is balanced that's what love is charity giving balance when you give look at science you give you loan your electrons your electron donor or electron um receiver you're giving things so that things can be complete that is how you create a new being through the exchange and the sharing of electrons y'all don't know that all my science people my higher knowledge supreme mathematical people you don't know that 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 is how you create something you have to put your parts together and, and collect collaboratively come together you can have this free radical this crazy thing going out here destroying everything but if you neutralize it what happens love is very scientific and it's also a vibration and a feeling if you if you grasp that then all this other stuff will make sense and you'll stop running around here talking about, whoo, these people ain't spiritual. I've seen people lately complain, ooh, Facebook ain't spiritual. These people full of shit. Everybody's spiritual. 
you know what spiritual is vibrations everybody that might not be on your frequency and it might not be vibrating on your level but guess what? If you want to see the results that you want, you're going to have to elevate your frequency and your vibration. And it's not going to come by you rooting yourself in the physical things. That's what the Bible is trying to warn you against when you um when it says not to bow down to Baal, Baal which is the sun, the moon, and the stars. You're not submitting to them forever. Initially, you do have to submit to them. How does that work? Let, let me explain. Don't, don't lose. Let me, let me lose you. How do you submit to them? You understand your unity and your oneness with them. When you give them all your power and you say, okay, you're giving me something and I'm not able to give you anything in return and you don't grow and elevate, then you are committing idolatry. You're putting other gods before you. The unity, the oneness that is within you, the God within don't have any other gods besides me. They're not supposed to be beside you and outside you. They're supposed to be within you and one with you. So initially, as you climb the ladder, you understand the unity. You use the tools. Yes, you're going to use crystals. Yes, you're going to use certain things. Wands and potions and stuff. Yes, that's what happened. You don't understand. The Bible's not talking to everybody on every level because they took out the gatekeeper's names. So you don't see the, the 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 climbing of the ladder. So now every time you see God, you think, or Lord, you think that's talking about one Lord. And it's talking about one gateway. And Jesus is that one gateway and that's it. And you just believe that that happened. That somebody died on a literal cross and shed some literal blood. No, it's all symbolic. That's where we go astray. That they've taken all the stuff out. And that's why it says the pen leads, leads man astray. If you don't understand within yourself what's going on. Then you're going to keep reading this book. And you keep saying, oh my gosh, they lied. So now I don't like these people. I don't like Shakespeare. And I don't like it. Shakespeare was trying to help your ass out too. Maybe. Not everybody is totally balanced. But when they put those plays out there. Just like they do now in the movies. Those are archetypal um, stories that are talking about different processes that go on within each individual, okay? And whether or not the person who's putting the plays out there is conscious of it or uses it for a pure purpose, that's debatable. That You can debate that all day. You can say that Hollywood is putting out these movies to deceive us and yada, 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 and all this other crap. Or you can see the message. And you can say, well, whatever, you meant it for evil. But the all, God, meant it for good. Just the same way. Y'all be missing everything. Oh, look, let me tell you the story about, what's the name, Joseph, and the coat of many colors and all that stuff. Do you understand? Did you even hear that message? His brother sold him. That was low down and dirty, wasn't it? That, that was low down and dirty. That was low down and dirty. They sold him. Told the daddy that he was dead. That's messed up. I'm talking about the book. It's in Genesis. Read it. Then he goes to Egypt and what happens? He ends up being second to the to the Pharaoh and he gets all this power and he and, uh, interpreted the, excuse me, the vision and they figured, oh, it's going to be famine. Okay, cool. So we're going to do, going to store up and we're going to have extra food. We're going to be ready, prepared. Then his brothers, okay, the famine hits their land and they say, oh, you know what? Okay, we're starving. Oh, Egypt has food. Let's go there. They go there and get it. Now, the brothers, in ignorance, even out of evil, or even out of malice, said, we're going to sell our brother because we jealous. We hate him. We think our dad loved him more than us. We're going to get rid of him. Get rid of that sucker, right? Okay. what they do? They ended up actually saving themselves by doing that. Because if he had never lied and sold him to the people and took him to Egypt and he became second to Pharaoh and all these things, then they would never had the dream interpreted, never would have been prepared, never would have had no food. Therefore, they would have never had the ability to go there and get any food. Do you see how this cycle works? But how nature keeps the balance. These are stories to try to teach you something over the head. You're not getting it. So I don't care what Shakespeare's intention was that he thought there is nature. There is something bigger than any individual person out here, any individual entity out here. 
there's something that connects us all. And no matter what you do, it is going to turn out for the good. No matter what you do, it's going to turn out for the right. No matter what you do, it's going to be correct in the end. Because you have a safety mechanism that keeps everything in balance. What do you call it? Say, I don't know. Nature? Your mama? The great mother? I don't know. But it always protects. It always keeps us in check. And all her children and his children, its children, the all's children will always be protected. I don't care how evil you think they are. I don't care how messed up you think they are. We will all be protected and corrected. Okay? So, pick up the book and learn something. Learn something from the parables. You can get it from the... I, I, I actually did read one of the, one of the scriptures from the other ones. Other... Um, religions or cultures and it has some very good parabolic things in it that I think y'all totally missing it's going over your head too because you didn't get it some people get it and others don't it depends on you your balance and imbalance so please pick up a book and, 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 and instead of just seeing the words get some internal insight into it and know that you are loved there is no fear in love just like the book says there's no fear in love because perfect love casts out fear. Mature love. That's what the word perfect actually means. Mature love. And until you understand what mature love is, you're going to miss everything. People be thinking, I'm telling you, go out here and kick it with your enemies. And let's go have dinner and let's sleep with each other. I don't know what y'all be thinking. No. What I'm talking about is you internalizing these things and, and getting yourself right. Becoming a being of love. Because you are what's going to balance out the other things. Now, this, like I said, this ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't ready. Everybody ain't there. And that's fine. But if you hear me, and you hear what I'm saying, this is just guidance and advice. This is how I'm trying to help you break the programming and come out of this foolishness that says, well, this book is totally wrong, or this book is totally right. There is no right and wrong. Everything's right. It's all pieces. So look at all of it and come from a place of spirit, and you, everything you read will become a message. Everything you see will become correct because... Everything is correct. There is no right and wrong. And it's like I say, the same people that think they're all deep and stuff and they know about yin and yang and the balance and light and darkness. No, I don't think you do because you're not speaking. I'm not hearing it come out of your mouth. Therefore, it's not in your heart. So I'm just trying to, you know, sway you so you can kind of come to the middle and come to a place where you understand how there's a time for war and a time for peace and a time for love and a time for hate. I would never tell you to do crazy stuff. Y'all think I'm talking about being a hippie, going out here and just loving everybody. Not like that. Y'all don't understand what love is. The definition of love is jacked up. I've already told you what the definition is. It's giving. It's balance. You have to totally fix your mind frame. Correct it to where you understand what love truly is. I'm not saying you have to... Like, there's a difference between being love, love someone and being beloved. There's a difference between having someone in your inner court and having someone in your outer court. They're still in the, they're in the space, they're in the sphere, but yet they're not all up in here. Do, do you understand that? Like, literally, you can have people who you love, but they're at a distance. And by you loving them, what you're doing is you're just doing the correct thing. You're doing the right thing. You're turning the other cheek and all the other stuff they be saying. And you're not... When it says that vengeance is mine, you get to come from a higher place of vengeance. There's a way to get back at people and do certain things without it coming from a lower place where you're just wanting to punish someone. It's a place where you can understand why they're doing what they're doing and you, and you take steps to protect yourself because it is a basic concept of nature. You have a right to protect yourself. You have a right to defend yourself, but you don't attack, especially when no one's attacking you literally. And you come from a place of understanding. And you know how to defend yourself properly and rightly to where it's actually going to be effective. And you can also understand that these people are you and mirrors of you. And perhaps maybe it's trying to show you something about yourself. And then once you get things right, people leave you alone. I'm here to testify. Nobody will bother you. you you'll be able to say, you won't be able to walk around and say, oh, I'm black. And so every time I get in the car... The police is messing with me. Guess what? If you get your shit right, they won't bother you no more. They won't see you. 
I'm here to testify. All these things that keep coming against you and keep opposing you and you keep thinking nothing's working for you and you can't get anything you want out of life. If you get your shit right, balanced, ooh, magically everything will start working for you. Everything that you want will happen when you get in alignment with the truth and alignment with your purpose. Okay? So, with that said, peace and blessings, lots of love, infinite light. I love you all. Peace.